All right, hey guys, welcome to Sam Co Workshop. This is Jason here. Today we're gonna to talk about when to use four low. I already did a video for you and I'll link it at the end of this on when to use four high. I've done videos on the difference between lockers and limited slip differential scenarios. I'll link that at the end of this for you as well too. But when should you use four low in your vehicle and how do you get into four low and uh, all the stuff. We're gonna cover every bit of it here for you. But now if you're cruising around on your running roads like this and stuff, this is a four high situation. Okay, if you want, or two-wheel drive, obviously, it's two-wheel drive too, but if you want to put it in four-wheel drive here, you're fine. Four-wheel drive, what four-wheel drive is going to do uh, for high, um, for high is going to basically keep your gearing the same and just give you, a, you know, power to both front and rear axle. Four-wheel drive low involves a gear ratio change of about three to one. Basically, consider four low as tractor mode. It is going to for every RPM your engine spins, it's gonna usually say it's a three to one ratio. You're gonna go three times, three spins uh, per for the axles as versus what you're gonna get out of the engine um, as far as the transfer case is gonna go. I don't wanna overcomplicate that. We'll keep it simple like that. It's basically going to turn you into a tractor here uh, where if at a certain RPM, Say, let's just say it, uh, it's 3,000 RPMs uh, in first gear you were going to go in four high, you were going to go uh, 20 miles an hour or 30 miles an hour. Now you're only going to go 10 miles an hour. See what I'm saying? It's going to slow you down uh, dramatic, or drastically, but it's going to give you a lot more power from the engine. And what that does is that it's going to let you go much more slower and controlled which is vitally important, and it's not gonna bog the engine down. So when you have things that are like deep sand, deep snow, uh, deep mud, uh, hard obstacles, rocks, uh, steep hills, what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to do that in a tractor type mode where you're not gonna have to need you know speed and momentum to get up there without bogging the engine. You're gonna be very slow and controlled rather than try and get up there. You're gonna have that control to be able to slow and creep and make Take, make sure you maintain that traction and do everything like you want to. Four low is not a cruise around mode. Four low is an obstacle mode is basically what it is. For example here, if I wanted to, which take this Jeep and say I wanted to, uh, for fun of it, go through here. Okay, drop in right here, which this Jeep would do all day long, and go right through there and then drop and pop back out on that other end way down there and jam back out. But if I wanted to run this for a fun factor, um, I could definitely do that. And you can see that this is quite a bit here. Um, we'll put it into perspective. Okay, but I mean, this is a pretty good drop. You know, it's, it's a, uh, you know, something like this, very doable to drop into here and to come down this. Very, very doable to pop right down this, roll down in here, and then work all these bumps through this water, through this bumps, all this kind of stuff, do all that, and then come out over there. And like I said, in my younger days, I would have done, done stuff like this for fun. Now I'm a little smarter. It doesn't interest me anymore, and I don't need to be beating stuff up. But if you were to do this, if this whole road for example, had been washed out and I wanted to get through an area like this. This is for low type of stuff. It's going to allow my, my wheels to push through this heavy stuff with slow and controlled with the power of that motor. It's going to allow me the control, the slow motion create, you know, or ability to be able to climb up and over things. It's going to allow me to slowly come down this creeping down it. And then if I were to come up the other side, I can go slow and get that one wheel to climb up and then get the other wheels to climb up. And I can take it out of there but i have the engine power because of that tractor mode transfer case change it's going to happen in there it gives me that slow speed ability that's the beauty of it now the other benefit to it too is that these uh when you're uh when you're in four low it's going to usually unlock a bunch of features for you in a lot of vehicles now most of the domestic brands such as uh you know jeep uh, Ford, uh, Chevy, they're going to give you a lot of these lockers and modes like that in four high as well too, which is a beautiful thing. Now this has front and rear locker. So I have a front locker and a rear locker. Again, a video at the end will explain that, what those are. But in here on, on a stock Jeep, you can use your rear locker in four high but I have to go into four low to be able to use my front locker. Okay, that way I got, it's four low is slow going, controlled, and power. It's what it is. It is a tractor mode. There's a reason that a 70 horse uh, tractor can pull a house down. Okay, it's all in a gearing. That's what four low does here for you. It gives you the power through the gearing. And um, um, 
but now a lot of vehicles, like I said, like, you know, uh, if you look at uh, Toyota or Nissan, for example, you can't even use your rear locker, your MTS, your crawl control. You can't use any of the great off-road goodies unless you actually go into four low because those Japanese trucks, they, they assume that you're going to be doing anything off-road is going to be very slow. I hate that about them. They should let me have my rear locker at least in four high like this does. I can actually use my front and my rear in this one because I have a, uh, a bypass in there. But you want to be able to in four low use those or in four high use those options you don't get it but in four low you do so four low is going to open up a lot of options and possibilities for you that a lot of other uh, modes are not gonna in toyota and in nissan so that's a beautiful factor and i'll show you how to put it in there the right way and everything like that and what we got to do but in four low this is what it's all about slow and controlled obstacles and getting through them and getting over them that is the reason you use it four wheel drive high cruising and doing whatever you want to do and getting from spot to spot but when you hit some gnarly obstacles of whatever kind that's when you get into four low and all you're going to really gain from it is you're going to gain that tractor mode of capability plus you gain more off-road goodies like even toyota the new 2024 toyota in four high your limited slip traction control versions are very um how do i say it very weak and means they allow a lot of wheel spin before the other one kicks in, where in four low, they're much more uh, tightened up and they'll give less wheel spin before the other one engages. So four low opens up a whole new world of opportunity and potential for when you're getting into these things with all vehicles. Like I said, this one here on a stock one, four low will let you use the front locker. Um, so there's a lot of benefit to it to be able to tackle things like this, whether they're on purpose or by necessity. That's where four low comes into. Let's take a second and show you on the inside of the Jeep how you're going to engage four low regardless of what vehicle you have. All right, we're going to kind of show you a little example. This hill may not look like much here, but it's super steep. Okay, it's actually very, very steep to get up out of here. It's almost, you can see it right here. It's almost like a straight up wall. Now to go into four low, we are in four high. Okay, so let's say we want to go, and it doesn't matter if you're in four high or two high, same thing. They're easy to transfer back and forth on the fly. But to get into four low, what we have to do is we first have to put our transfer case or, or our transmission, we got to put it in neutral. Okay, you cannot go into four low from drive like you can two high and four high. For two high and four high, it's as easy as pulling a lever. Okay, it's that simple. Okay, we get rolling a little bit and that's easy. Okay, now we're in four high. You cannot do that in four low. Four low, you have to go to neutral here. Then you're going to bring this over to neutral and straight down to four low. But you have to go into neutral on here first. Then we can go in and it tells us auto disable or auto park disabled. We are in four low now. Okay, electronic stability control off. See, it's turning off all this stuff that we don't need. You put, see the traction control light is off. We are in full blown four low. Now we can go back to drive. Just for kicks, I'm curious if it'll idle up this. We're gonna idle now, we're in four high. Let's see if it'll do it. <laughs> it's as far as we got. My foot is off the gas, away from the gas. That is as far as we got. Okay, you can see the difference. That's as far as we got. We didn't even make it there. Let's give it a little more bump. Okay, now let's see. And it comes to a complete stop. Okay, it can't do it because the gearing is not there. It doesn't have that tractor. Let's give it one more bump. See if it'll, and see it just dies dead in the water. Okay, it just can't go nowhere. It can't do nothing. So let's back up. We'll come back again. We'll do it one more time. And we will put it into, real quick, show you how easy this is. We're in four high. We're going to come over here. We're going to switch that into neutral. We're going to go into four low. We're into four low. We put it in drive. And now we're going to idle up it in, in four low. And we're just going to look. But see what I mean? See a power again? My foot nowhere near the gas pedal. And it just, cre it has that power for control. That is what we are after is the power for the control. And we have it in four low. So that is the beauty of it. Then we're going to come up here. Now we're going to drive. All right. And like I said, you also get engine braking from four low. Well, look at the mosquitoes in here. Sorry. But uh, you get at engine braking. So when you're descending a hill in four low because of that transfer case and that gear ratio reduction in there, you're going to come down the hill much slower and much more controlled because of that engine braking. The engine is slowing it down as it comes down like that with through that gearing. So it's a beautiful thing. Four low is a masterful thing. Very important to have, but it is also a slow control obstacle type scenario 
but you can see how low geared everything is okay we're very you know i mean we're look at we were at 2000 rpm again it's shifting gears but it's a very slow and controlled now you have to come to a full stop to change in and out of this so we got to come here again we're going to put it into neutral just like that we're going to grab this and go up to now we're in too high you can go straight to there or i can come back into four high i can go whatever i want to we're going to leave it in too high put it back in drive and we are ready to continue on to uh, my hunting spot where i'm going hunting this afternoon but that is a demonstration of four low when you need it why you need it um and what you should do with it never use four low on pavement Okay, plain and simple. Never use four low on pavement. There's no reason to. Uh, you can use four low on the beach, in the mud, anything that's going to really bog those tires down and create that resistance that's going to be harder on the motor and make it harder for you to muscle through it. Four low gives you that power to be able to get through that stuff real easy without overstressing anything and taking it controlled and do what you need to do. So four low is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thanks for watching.